Well, good morning, Just Us and Everything. We are at a uh, restaurant called Seasons Harvest right now. Um, Seasons Harvest is a uh, direct farm to table restaurant. And it's, it's really good, all organic food, uh, absolutely delicious. The building right there is behind me. It's like a house with a patio, which I'll show in a second. They also have a, I guess it's like a, a I'm not sure if that's like a, a gift shop or a, a place where you could buy farm stuff, but there's a building there and it is old looking. Anyways, uh, they have a place where you can pet goats as well as feed chickens. And the chickens are actually where they source their eggs from and pretty much everything comes from here. If they don't have something that, uh, that they can get from the farm, then they order it organic from a local farm around here. So pretty neat place. We're gonna eat here. And then after this, we're gonna head over to the science show. Uh, no, I'm sorry, excuse me. Got tongue tied for a second. We're gonna head over to the uh, Museum of Natural Science here in Houston. And at the end of that afterwards, or when we're done there, we're gonna head over to probably Spirit Halloween for a little bit. So there's gonna be multiple stops in this video. It's probably gonna be a long video, but will be a fun one. I haven't done a video in a month and you can probably tell by my introduction being a little spotty as they would say, but here we go. We're gonna go for it and uh, uh, let's, let's have a good time. Chickens. Lots and lots of chickens. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Heading around to the back here, they have two sections where they get their produce from pretty large gardens. This is one of them. The chicken coop is over there. Large farm building out in the distance. And that direction is the where the goats are. So I'm gonna take them probably to go check out the chickens and the goats. That's the back patio right there, and that's where we're gonna be sitting. There's Rochelle. Can you watch them while I order the food? Guys, say my dad. I guess we'll just walk around here for a little bit. And show it off. It's a big huge plot of land. They have its own little lake over there. You want to see the chickens? Yes. Okay. Wait, it's like the chickens that way. Yeah, they're that way. There's a big area over there too. Is there a cow? Where? Yeah, there is a, is that a cow? I don't know what that is. It's too far away for me to see. All right, let's go check out the chickens. A cow tooted? Yeah, it looks like a donkey. I think it's a donkey and not a cow. They're working some more of a garden area over there. It looks like a lot of activity on this place. Everybody's working. So this is a lake. Whose garden? I don't know. I think he's on another property. I don't know if it belongs to this property, but I'm not sure. I think we have a little boat over here. Hey, yeah, watch out for the ant piles. You want to go see the goats? Okay. Wonder if there's any fish in this lake. Um, I don't know how deep it gets. We're gonna go check out the goats. Okay. It has definitely been a bumpy July, which is why you haven't seen any videos coming from us. We all got sick again. It just seems to be a common theme happening this uh, in the past four or five months. Uh, and that lasted for a while. I don't even know what it was. Then we got hit by the hurricane, Hurricane Blyle, I think it was called. We were fortunate because we have a generator. Other people, not so much. So we were helping out people, helping out friends, helping out people that live in the neighborhood. It took a good week for them to restore power, uh, probably over a week for some people, nine days in some cases, probably longer. Uh, heart went out to those people. Just terrible, terrible tragedy. Anyways, we are, uh, we're at the goats now. So let's take a look at the goats. Hey, Pookie, make your goat sound. Do your goat sound. Hi. 
Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, you can pet them. Hi, little guy. Yes, hi. Hi. That little girl likes to be pet. Hi. What are you doing? Very sweet. They're used to seeing a lot of people here. Did you pet a goat? Look at this guy. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. I don't know if he's the oldest, but he's looking pretty old. How about you? Your eyes are so interesting. Huh? With the babies? Another baby, huh? Hi, goats. Hi. Dad, what? I mean, I don't know how I'd feel if I was behind a fence and some alien kept coming around, poking his finger and touching my head. Dad, I was looking at him. He's what? Yeah, that's not food for them. No. Their food is the, the hay over there. I, I, I thought that was hay, but it wasn't. All right, you want to go check out the chickens, guys? Okay. Go. Hey, well, that's not what he Let's go check out the chickens. Let's go see the rooster. Yeah, yeah be nice to the goats, bud. Come on, buddy. Let's go see the rooster. Sorry, that's okay, bud. Don't do that. Yeah, we don't want to upset the animals because they're... Yeah. Maybe, yeah. They could get scared just like you and cry just like you when you get upset. So, yeah, no reason to scare them. All right, let's go check out chickens. Hello, chickens. And ducks. Yeah, we get a bonus. Where's the rooster? They have a cool rooster here. He's huge. Where's your buddy? Where's your rooster guy? There he is. Check him out. Fancy looking. They've got a spot over here, where they put compost. The chickens just go at it. Most of the, the food that they give the chickens it comes from table scraps and stuff, and it's all organic too, so the cycle of organic perpetuates itself here. Organic chickens <laughs> that organic food, which lay organic eggs. Ooh, that was Pretty brutal. Why don't you guys get along? You got a big chunk of fur out of that guy. Well, you can tell that people feed them a lot. Butterflies. All right, I better. My children were over there way off in the distance, so I'm gonna go catch back up with them. And then get a coffee. So thirsty for a coffee this morning. They're back at the goats. Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here, that's for sure. Well, we don't have any. I don't think he likes that. That's not hay, yeah. Oh, that's not hay. Those are pine uh, needles. That's, that's, that's hay. No, that's grass. Oh, yeah, and they poop me in the skin. You gotta poke. 
Yeah. Can you see the nose, goat? Mm -hmm. nose? What about their nose? Yeah. Don't put anything up their nose, no. Don't put them on the nose. Ow. Did it? That's a big weight. I see Mama come. I'm going to switch out with her and probably go get some coffee. Here's Rochelle with some chicken feed. So I guess I'm heading back to the chickens to feed them. That's like what they use to juice the vegetables. That's me, Mama. Get me. Okay, you want to go feed them? All right. Let's go. Here we come, chickens. With your food. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. Old chicken food all over my phone. I think it's sweet potato. Is it carrot or sweet potato? Yeah, they went to food. Did he drop the whole thing down? Hey, buddy, let me help you. Just dump it. I'm trying it. Oh! Uh-oh. Hey, you. You gotta take... You took the cup. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bit left. Oh, my goodness. You guys are hungry, huh? It's okay. Some of it I like the one jumping. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, he's it is so brutally hot out here it has been hot the past like week very hot the garden yeah i showed off some of that stuff does that mean our food's ready oh <laughs> uh, okay yeah i need to go drink my coffee all right, here's the balcony where we're going to be eating. It's obviously a patio. I don't know why I keep calling it a balcony. My farmer's breakfast. Yeah, I am. Okay. I got the breakfast. Breakfast burrito. burrito. French toast. And eggs. Perfect. All right, that was good. So now we're off to the Museum of Natural Science. Pick it up, pick up the video when we get there. Well, we made it, but we couldn't park in the parking garage, so we're gonna have to go on a little bit of a hike. I just wanted to show off a lot of the debris that is still sitting around from all the trees that fell from the hurricane. Uh, it is so hot. This is gonna be kind of a brutal walk, but we got to do it. So we're heading into the museum Here we are Right On our walk here. Let's get away from the cars It has been actually a pretty nice summer a lot of rain Temperatures 80s and 90s then the past week. It just like well, sorry an explosion of heat well, at least so. we can cool, cool off over here, right here, right? Yeah. For a second, yeah, in the shade. At least we walked out. Too bad of a walk. Yes. All right. Continuing on. Okay. Golf course. Is this a Can golf you course? See the yes, golf course.
more of the debris from the felled trees. They have a train ride, which I've shown in other videos. Whoa, look at that dude. Hey, duck. Probably used to people giving him food. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You looking for food? Not in the phone, I don't have it on that, that mode. There are the train tracks for the train, but a lot of trees have fallen onto the tracks, I think, so. Hey, Daddy, that's a okay. bunch of them. I think it's just growing that way. Oh. Crunch, 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 crunch. It is. Well, at, least at least there's a lot of shade here. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, that's true. And there was actually parking in the zoo parking lot. It's amazing. Huh? I said, and there was actually parking hey, in the zoo that? zoo parking lot, which is amazing. Oh, oh. This golf course is ever used. Oh yeah, there's some people out there. Getting my questions answered immediately by myself. For myself. I said every time I ask a question, I get an answer immediately. About this golf course. Of course, these are not super complicated questions. Anyways, I'm just rambling, 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 rambling. Okay. All right, we made it. That's it, buddy. That's the museum. King Tut's too. Ooh, that trash can stunk. Ugh. Not like someone dumped a bunch of diapers in there. I guess we'll have to check out this King Tut's tomb. My mother would love that. She loves King Tut stuff and Egypt stuff. All right, we're going in to some nice air conditioning, finally. All right, here we are, buddy. We're at the museum. Ah, uh, can't wait to feel the air conditioning. I guess it's a video or a movie. Yeah. Alright buddy, we go this way. Thank you. Alright, go ahead and if you need to go to the bathroom, go first. Well, I don't... Yeah, hold oh, on. Okay. Alright. King Tut's is an exhibit, so it'll be great because my mother will watch this video and she would love to see that. So we're gonna head and we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna go to the sharks and then to the butterfly. So just getting everybody their potty breaks and we're gonna head into the King Tut, King Tut tomb. Tongue twister. It's a pendulum, Boogie Luck. Moving. Penduluming. Right, so we gotta find. We're gonna. We're walking through here to find the King Tut thing. He said back there, so I guess that's it. And but he said we have to go to the third floor. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there, huh? Huh? Twelve thirty. Huh? Come on, bud. Giant palm frond, sabalites, and fish, diplomistus, and smaller nightia. So, that's the King Tut's tomb discovery and experience. And I guess we can... Dad, can we take a picture of it? 
So I guess this is supposed to be like if you were to have just discovered the tomb, and you're about to go inside and see a mummy. But not that mummy, another mummy. Right into the tomb. You know what a tomb is? That's where they put dead people. This is where they put dead people. Yep. Here, come on. Here, come on. Oh my god. No one's getting smart. Oh no. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There's like a little area over here, I think. Oh wait, it's a way to look in. It's just glass. It's not somewhere you can crawl. You be wanna go in? I'm doing a very detailed exploration so she can see this. Contained within? Wow. Oh, here, Dino. 
eyes come with light and light to your nose forever. Coffigus. It's the first coffin. Second coffin. There. Third coffin. There. boat model, the golden bed, a headrest, scimitars, ibex, throw sticks. I guess that's what it looked like. Here's the recreation of it. I think we saw that from the other direction. Experience the image. Oh, so that's what you look like. Use so the buttons to the right on. to access descriptions of the image. If you touch a button while the audio is already playing, a new track will play when the previous track is completed. Okay. So, so touch a button as well as the flash all on. Like, yeah, Tutankhamen grips a rounded shaped staff called a crook in his left hand. It is made from alternating bands of gold oil and dark blue glass. The crook. Need an hour. Yeah. Well, we can. All right, let's. All right, into the gift shop. Let's go. Why is the gift shop? <laughs> yeah, don't touch anything. Just look. If we see anything geeky, we'd like.
Yeah, it was cool. Sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. You could go into the Hall of Ancient Egypt. It is a double stroller, see? All right, buddy. You ready to go in here? Cosmetics. I'm watching him. He's okay. I mean, there's so much stuff here. Yeah, I gotta go catch up with them, but I wanted to at least get as much of this room as I could. Cool artifacts. I guess this is all authentic. Okay. Very creative people, that's for sure.
then first his heart was set in the scales against two shows of belly. A bad pilot would weigh half down, and a monstrous creature oh. would be a bad. Your sarcophagus lid. The main person's journey ended in failure. Mm. The intense amount of uh, displays here. Holy smokes. Somewhere. Hmm? There's so much stuff, it's like. Okay. Real person. Is it real? Yeah. Is that a real mummy? Oh. <laughs> That's real. Is that what it says? This is the sign of being reading. Mummy of a man, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Why? Is he scared? Maybe he is. <laughs> He's scared. Alright, can you push that for Look, mama? Look, there's a, is that a mummified head right there? Can you push this for mummy? I know. I want to do that for you, but I don't think it's a good idea. Must be. Mummified head, yeah. It's a... <laughs> you okay? Oh my god, that's what we have on Google! Yeah, there is. I guess that's some of the skull protruding. protruding. Mummies. Here's another one. Yeah. Okay. I think Gabe's getting a little too scared. Of the... You can see some of the teeth. The next place we're going is to see the shark exhibit. This place is huge. Rosetta Stone. We're assuming this is the floor where the sharks are. It's not very clear. I feel like this is where the butterfly is. Hey, Pookie, come here. Look at, hey baby, look at this. Here's a wolf. Give her a wolf! Give her a wolf! Give her a wolf! A wolf! A wolf. Owls and. What else is there? Ooh, look at that. It's a like alligator. Mama, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, how do you tell the difference? Okay, so one has a round mouth and one has a pointed mouth. A crocodile has a more pointed and an alligator has a more round mouth. I didn't know that. Thank you. Learn something new all the time. Huge, huge, huge. This is like the alligator, yeah. like the whole thing oh, down at the other end. Right. Cool, thank, thank you so much. I'm going to call this summer camp. The educational stuff here. It's summer camp right now. That's so cool. It's the last week. Last week is summer camp. Oh, yeah, look at that. Is that a birthday party? No, I don't know. <laughs> Kids' activities for school and stuff. You're a homeschooled kid, so we do different kind of activities. I have, I can't find this place. And I'm looking through the lens of the camera. Wait, there it is, sharks. Okay, Buki, check it out. Come here, check it out. What is it, a bat? Are you guys ready to see the sharks? Yeah. Shark. You coming, my guy? Oh. Huh? Oh, oh, whoa. It's okay. Well, here, hold it like, maybe like that. Here, how about we wait until we get in your chair so we don't get uh, goldfish everywhere. Could we act so the sharks are that way, buddy? Wait, you want to go that way first? Okay. Stingray skeleton before, that's neat. Nursery. Oh, where are they? Touch at your own risk.
pretty cool. What did you get, Shark Tea? Is this blue? Hold it. They're both um, sand shark tea. Cool, like we got at the beach. Wash your hands. Right here, baby. Look. So rinse your hands off if you want to touch them, okay? This exhibit was pretty cool, but I actually think that the uh, Egypt one was way better. Way more intricate, a lot of cool stuff, but this one's pretty neat too. But yeah, about to hit the gift shop over here. Like huge stuffed animals, and I do not want to be walking back to the car with 500 pounds of huge stuffed animals. That's an exaggeration, obviously. Okay. You gonna touch it? poisonous in here and then tell you to touch it. Ooh, what's that? Sound? That's a Eeyore, a yellow ribbon Eeyore. Oh, wow. He's a little touch, okay? His name is Majesty. He's about three feet long. Wait, now watch me. Okay, I'm watching. Here's the, well, the step stool is over here. But you're not going to be able to reach over there, so. Which one? 
Which one, baby? This one. This. You touch that one too. Is it eating? I don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna touch that one. Okay, fish. Yeah, it has a piece of food in the middle. It's eating both of them. Finding Dory? Is that Finding Dory, right? Or is that Finding Nemo? I think it was Finding Dory. On to the next. I think we're going to the butterfly next. Go over there, baby. Try it. Okay. Oh, it's an astronaut. Hey, look, he's standing right there. That's pretty good, Pookie. Look, it looks like he's petting you. like it. It's funny. He goes bye bye. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go find them. They went this way. Let's see if it's over this way. Space stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to run, so don't run. Or stomp. It's the periodic table of elements. That's supposed to be running. Find uranium. See, look, find uranium. See the U? Now you gotta find it on the table here. I found it. Where? Where? Uranium, find the U. You find the U. Go over to the you. U. <laughs> the U. The U! Right, look where I'm pointing. Look at look at my the U. See the U? Alright, let's go on the space thingy. Yeah.
what a the inside of a computer looks like. It's what's called the circuit board. How did they do the marbles? Huh? How did they do the marbles? It's made out of silicon. Giant brain. Come here, bud. Gabriel, he said you can't climb on there. Come with me, okay? Let's go check it out over here. Will you harness the power of the stars or explore the mysteries of the cosmos? Look, it's like an old kitchen. Alchemy. So maybe not a kitchen. Those aren't toys, those are pretend pumpkins, and it looks like, uh... Wait, I want to see, I want to see blocks. Hey, the sandbox? They mean that bucket of sand? We can't go over there, buddy. It's just for looking at. Here, let's go this way. The most consequential discovery in the history of the world. The double slit experiment. Particle wave duality. <laughs> Nothing is solid. Everything begins its life as a wave and upon observation. The wave function collapses and you have a particle. And that's what this experiment proved. Look, double slit, double slit experiment or demo. Uh -huh. Everything is frequency. Everything, including you. Which frequency? What's that mean? Back to the pendulum. And now to the Butterfly Museum. Museum food time. Museum hamburger. I've had some disgusting hamburgers in my life, <laughs> and this one is definitely up there. But Pookie likes it. <laughs> I literally tasted like dog food.
Not really, it's... suit of armor that knights used to wear back in the day. Wait, buddy, we gotta go this way. We go this way, then we'll go back down the other way. As I've mentioned in other videos, a linear approach to these kinds of things doesn't really work because they go in every separate direction. Look, and you can see how an insect sees you, see? Like a big blurry blob. How many eyes they have? Oh, they're like, oh, hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello, cute little insect. I'm gonna bite you. Hey, Grant. Yeah. Mosquitoes, bed bugs, and assassin bugs use their syringes like mouthparts to pierce skin and suck them into their mouths. Skin bugs, and bugs, and bugs. Giant long leg caddy did. Caddy did? Catta did? Giant jungle neck. That's it. Where is it? Oh, it's empty. So there are butterflies you can fly with. Oh, neat. Or not fly with them. I think that tree is real, but it's still no, it's not real. But it's cool, cool fake tree.
There's so many down there. I know. I think that's a real name. Like, there's a butterfly right here. Look. 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 Is it dead? Tree python. What? Oh, he's back there. Look. Okay. It says don't tap on the glass. Why? Because the animals must not like it. Or it might break. That's crazy. You see the green snake? Cave cockroaches. Come on, it, baby. Hey, sweetie. Buddy, like the waterfall? Uh oh, is it leaking? Oh, I guess maybe that's part of it. <laughs> the blind cave fish. I guess they don't have eyes. Many of the cameras are blind and very pale in color. 
Yeah, thank you for visiting. Exit this way, it says. Okay. Guess we're gone. Thanks, I'm not eating bugs. See how well you do. All right, so we're done with the uh, Museum of Natural Science. That was fun. Even though we went through there at Mach 10, just kind of like the other video when we were in Moody Gardens. Yeah, we saw a dead it's hard. Person. Yeah, we saw the mummy, a mummy. And that Gabe got scared of that. Um, I don't know, it's kind of creepy looking. I know. So we're gonna head in the car and we're gonna try to make it over to Spirit Halloween and. That should be pretty fun. At least that's a good way to get the kids to leave. A little bit of Houston traffic for you. It is 2.36 on a Thursday. This area is always like this. So we took a 45 minute drive over to Spirit Halloween and it was closed, even though on maps it said it was open, but that's fine. So we're heading home now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now. The light turned green, so I gotta kind of hurry and do it. But I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun making it. The Science Museum was pretty cool. All the exhibits, even though we had to breeze by them, were pretty intricate and I would advise Anybody that's in the Houston area that might be watching to spend some time there, I would say like at least an hour for each exhibit. Um, everything is on a schedule, so it's, uh, it's you know, you have to kind of plan and organize a little bit, but other than that, it was, it was pretty good. And it was, it was kind of crowded there today. But anyways, uh, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and we will see you soon. And thank you so much for watching the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone down so I can focus on driving. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and put the video together, upload it, and hopefully it'll be out by tonight. Uh, I also got a big dinner to cook, so. Anyways, it was really good seeing everybody. I was glad to make this video. There's gonna be more videos more frequently, not as spaced out as they've been, so. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day out there.